Well, this is all new for you this morning. Physical therapy is going virtual, and a local office says the virtual healing option is already seeing tremendous success. So I went to Depew to see what it's all about. Every time you talk to a kid now, they talk about virtual reality. It's the newest way to gain, and now the newest way to heal as well. Orthopedic fractures, shoulder problems, elbow problems, uh, balance and coordination issues, um, some of our neurological patients that have MS. Mark Howard, the owner of Howard Physical Therapy in Depew, is the only one in Western New York using this VR system. He says patients are making progress unlike anything he's seen in his 35-year career. Patients that were afraid to move, and when they put the virtual system on, they were distracted by the activities and moving far more than we'd seen them move during traditional exercises. You put sensors over your chest, arms, hands, and face, and enter an immersive system that takes a patient into a different world where they can relax. With the headset on, it takes them to beaches and and forests and things just to distract them from the pain for 20 or 30 minutes. Or play games to test their limits. Uh, where you're actually immersed in a pinball machine. So everybody loves playing pinball and you have a set of paddles and your hands are the paddles. Uh, we incorporate elastic bands, we incorporate sticks and uh, hand weights and things to make all the activities more challenging. Howard says with traditional methods, many patients were canceling their appointments, but this is so effective because it takes the mental component out of physical therapy. Patients get bored with exercise. It's mundane, they're bored, they don't want to follow through they're not compliant. When we get patients on this, they'll do things for 10, 15, 20 minutes and they don't realize they've been on it that long. I gave it a try and played around for what I thought was just a few minutes. 30 minutes later, new record. <laughs> it's new to Western New York, but the goal is to have physical therapists everywhere immersing their patients in virtual reality and move all of healthcare in the same direction. There's more information on how to get involved on our website at wkbw.com. And I think in the rehab environment, it's going to become a mainstay. So this was really cool. It was a, a different way to think about physical therapy, right? Because you go there, obviously you're healing from something. It's a long, lengthy process. People don't usually love it. But this is so much fun. I was really there for 25 minutes. Wow, like I was making sandwiches. I was like, <laughs> I was putting birds in nests. I was playing pinball. It was really competitive. That's fascinating. When you hear that this, you know, physical therapy is my mic on? Did I? Did, am I being sabotaged again? <laughs> oh, I think my battery again. died. Oh. 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 <laughs> That is, look at it. Battery died, yeah. someone took the battery out. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, anyway, uh, when you see that this physical okay, therapist is uh, <laughs> saying that, you know, especially for MS patients, mm -hmm. we know Western New York has a really high rate yeah. of MS, and they're afraid to move ordinarily, but then using this new tool to kind of help them move, that's a huge deal, and a huge win. Tell. They can't tell how much they're moving, so like when you see it, you're like, oh, I can't move that far, but right. they're like doing this, and they can't see their hands, so oh, they're just, great. they're able to move a lot more. What time. a cool story. Right. Yeah. 5.50 on the start of your Friday.